Dear students, under the topic polar coordinates, here we have the second problem. The question is to find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent to the curve r square is equal to a square cos 2 theta. The angle between the radius vector and the tangent is given by tan phi which is equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr. So let me write here. So the first formula that we list out is we have to find tan phi which is equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr. From this we will be finding the angle phi by taking tan inverse on both the sides and so therefore phi will be equal to tan inverse of r multiplied with d, d theta by dr. In order to find d theta by dr we have to differentiate the given curve which is in terms of r with respect to theta. So we shall do that now. Let us mark the given curve to be equal to equation 1. The given curve is r square equal to a square cos 2 theta. So let us mark this equation as equation 1. So in order to find d theta by dr, we have to differentiate the given curve uh, in which is given in terms of r with respect to theta. For which we have to differentiate equation 1 with respect to theta. So r square when differentiated with respect to theta we get 2r multiplied with dr by d theta that is we have to use the chain rule over here and how did I get 2r I have used the formula x to the power n over here that is let me list out here. So the second formula that I have used is when we differentiate any um, any variable x to the power n when differentiated with respect to x it will be equal to nx to the power n minus 1. Using this formula we, we differentiate r square with respect to r I mean theta. So because we are differentiating with respect to theta this will be 2r by using the formula nx power n minus 1. Here the value of n is equal to 2. So therefore 2r and dr by d theta. We are writing dr by d theta because we are differentiating with respect to theta and so we have to use the chain rule over here which is equal to a square cos 2 theta. a square is a constant which is in multiplication so it will come as it is. Now we have to differentiate cos 2 theta. The differentiation for cos is negative sign so therefore we get negative sign 2 theta multiplied with the differentiation of 2 theta uh, which is 2. So we have to multiply this by 2 because the differentiation of theta is 1. As we are differentiating the complete equation with respect to theta, we, uh, the differentiation of theta is 1 and this constant 2 gets multiplied. The formula that we used here is, let us list, list out the third formula that is the differentiation of we used cos theta so differentiation of cos x is equal to negative sin x. So this was the formula that we used and we differentiated cos 2 theta which was negative sin 2 theta and further by using the chain rule we differentiated 2 theta because we are differentiating with respect to theta when theta is differentiated it will be 1 and the constant will be multiplied. So we are multiplying by 2. So from this we can cancel this 2 which is on the right with the 2 that is on the left. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and from this dr by d theta will be equal to. Let us take this r to the right. So here on the right already we have negative a square sin 2 theta. And when this r is taken to the right, it will come to the denominator. So it divided by r. So this is dr by d theta. This can be rewritten and from this we can obtain d theta by dr by taking the reciprocal of this. So the reciprocal of this is the numerator will become the denominator and the denominator will become the numerator. So here the denominator is r. So it becomes the numerator. So r divided by the negative sign is carried out and then a square sine 2 theta. 
so therefore we have obtained d theta by dr which is required to use in the formula where we have tan phi to be equal to r into d theta by dr so in this formula now we have to substitute d theta by dr that we have obtained and we have to find tan phi so therefore tan phi will be equal to r multiplied with d theta by dr so we have to multiply with negative r divided by a square sin 2 theta and when this is multiplied it will be equal to r multiplied with r will give us r square so minus r square divided by a square sin 2 theta now further simplifying this r square can be replaced with equation 1 that is a square cos 2 theta so it is given that r square is equal to a square cos 2 theta so we will be substituting here that is this will be equal to negative a square cos 2 theta divided by a square sin 2 theta now from this a square and a square will get cancelled and cos 2 theta divided by sin 2 theta will be equal to cot 2 theta and we have a negative sign here so let us write that so minus cot 2 theta so let us list out this formula also so the fourth formula that we have used here is cos x divided by sin x that is the trigonometric formula which is equal to cot x so because of that we substituted cot cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta as cot 2 theta so therefore tan phi is equal to negative cot 2 theta so let us write that so tan phi is equal to negative cot 2 theta now this cot 2 theta we are going to write in terms of tan for which we will be using the identity from trigonometry from the trigonometric identity we know that that is tan 90 which can be written as pi by 2 so tan 90 plus theta is equal to minus cot theta so we are going to use this identity now here we have minus cot 2 theta and this can be written as tan pi by 2 plus 2 theta because we know that minus cot theta is tan pi by 2 plus theta now here instead of theta we are having 2 theta so this can be written as tan pi by 2 plus 2 theta and because we have the minus sign here and here as well we can just use this directly so therefore minus cot 2 theta can be written as tan pi by 2 plus instead of theta we are having 2 theta here so this will also be replaced by 2 theta so plus 2 theta we are doing so because if both the sides we have tan we can compare and we can uh, equate the angles for that reason we are converting this cot in terms of tan by using this trigonometric identity so therefore we have obtained tan phi to be equal to tan pi by 2 plus 2 theta comparing on both the sides the angles can be equated that is uh, if we take tan inverse on both the sides we will get phi to be equal to so phi can be equated to pi by 2 plus 2 theta so this is the answer therefore we have found the radius vector that is the angle between the radius vector and the tangent is given by phi which is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 theta so this is the solution so we will take and write the final answer therefore the angle between the radius vector and the tangent is equal to phi which is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 theta hope you have understood how to find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent we will solve one more problem of the same kind in our next video so kindly follow the next video thank you